Hi and welcome back to the RV DIY channel. Today's segment is sponsored by the Good Sam Extended Service Plan. For information on a reputable extended service plan for your RV, visit www.goodsamesp.com. I'm Mark Polk and I'll be your host today when we discuss RV water pump preventive maintenance. Your RV comes equipped with a 12 volt on demand water pump. It's part of the essential equipment that makes your RV self-contained. To make sure you get water from the pump when you want it, there are a few simple preventive maintenance steps you can perform periodically. Let me show you what they are. When you don't have access to a city water supply, you can store potable water in the RV fresh water tank, and when you need the water, you simply turn the water pump switch on. When the water pump is turned on, the pump will run until it pressurizes the water system to the factory set shutoff pressure. When you open a water faucet in the RV or place a demand on the pump, water pressure starts to drop and the pump cycles back on pressurizing the water system again. Keep in mind that the RV water pump is designed for intermittent duty cycles, not constant running. RV water pump preventive maintenance is really pretty simple. It primarily consists of periodically inspecting and cleaning the water pump strainer and keeping the water system sanitized. Shoreflow, a leading water pump manufacturer, stated that a lack of sanitizing is the number one reason for premature pump failure and poor performance over time. And that a lack of sanitizing will cause scale buildup on the diaphragm and valves causing low flow and leak back. To clean the water pump strainer, make sure the water pump and any water supply going to the RV is turned off. Open a faucet in the RV to relieve the water pressure. Disconnect the water line going to the water pump strainer. Grasp the strainer assembly and unscrew it from the water pump. Remove the male threaded portion of the strainer by pushing in and turning counterclockwise. With the cover removed, you will see the strainer screen. Remove and clean the screen. Reassemble in the opposite order. Do not over tighten the fittings. Make sure there is water in the fresh water holding tank. Turn the pump on to pressurize the system and check for any leaks. If you clean the water pump strainer in the spring and fall, you can help extend the life of your RV water pump. We'll talk more about sanitizing the fresh water system in another video here on the RV DIY channel. Remember, if you're looking for a reputable extended service plan for your RV, take a minute to visit www.goodsamesp.com. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you right back here next time. Happy camping.